Okay, so this is a Lockwood. It's a Lockwood challenge lock, actually. And the key has this little man on it. See that little bloke there? That's by Shua L. Pinned in February 2019. Called Old Mate. What's up, me old mate? So, there's a bidding. I think it's a hand cut key. And let's show that this guy works. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. Bidding like that. One, two, three, four, five pins shouldn't be difficult. Now, Shua L has made this challenge lock. Let's see how tough it really is. A good challenge lock should uh, give me some resistance. And if it doesn't, I'm just deadly. That's the problem. Uh, okay, so before I get, I do this, I just want to make something clear. I've tried SPPing this thing to no avail. Tried raking it to no avail. However, to make this video short and sweet, I'm going to show you its little flaw. The city rake. So I just put my tension on there, like that. Hang on. Put the tension on the other way is probably better. Make sure we tension in this thing properly as well. Okay, for sort of a false set anyway. Try the other way. It doesn't take long to get a bit of a false set though. Okay, so got Shua L's challenge lock here open with a pick. It's a lock pick, so it's picked open technically. I know it doesn't require as much skill, but I don't care. An open is an open. Oops. So I want to see now what's inside Shua L's challenge lock. It's got a clip on the back. Uh, use those Shua L rakes. I was trying those on, trying those on this as well, but I couldn't get them to work for me anyway. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Let's try the. I should probably, probably try and get the. Clip removers. Let's see. It's always the thing I don't have at hand that I need. Like this drink here. Eh, we got to be quick here as well because. The lock picking hamster over there is waiting to be put in the ball for a run. So we get my Chinese Banggood pliers here. Just loosen that clip. 
just enough for it to come off anyway. It's a brass clip, so it shouldn't be too difficult. There. Now, got that clip off. Let's get the pinning tray. My beautiful pinning tray by TNJ's Lock Picking Nord. Haven't seen them for a while. Maybe they got bored of lock picking or something, I don't know. But anyway, they are carpenters and they made this nice pinning tray. So let's just put our pins and stuff on here. Okay, so there's the lock. Okay, now we need a lemon plug follower. Speaking of plug followers, I had a dream about plug followers, these plug followers, last night. Well, not last night, but uh, yesterday. Or, day is it today? Yeah, today. <sighs> when you work nights, you forget what day it is. For anybody who works nights, you would know. You would know my pain. So let us shim shimney. Okay. Where are, they? Where are those things? Well, those pins look like they've been hand filed. And you can see they've all have to be picked anyway. And with the key. How well do they line up? Mm, fairly okay, but you can tell that it's only a lock sporter who has made this, put this together, not a locksmith. Okay, let's do the first one. It's stubborn, a little bit dirty. But it's a standard pin. Second is a little bit dirty. And it's a standard pin. Third one is not a standard. It has some serrations on it. And let's zoom in on that and have a look. Those, look at those deep serrations. Stupid camera will focus. There, you can see those lovely deep serrations. Okay, and then we have a. We have a standard. And we have a, another standard. And the core is all smooth. And then, as Bosnian Bill says, where all the magic is. Let us have a look. Oh wait, there's a shim. It's a Bosnian Bill mistake. Even I make that mistake. So it's a kind of tapered pin. Copper spring. Tapered pin, a uh, slightly different pin here. So, which way do I zoom? Come on, stupid camera, please focus for us. Let's focus on something. And then put the pin there. There, you can see there's little kind of spooly serrations and this one or well, the next one it's tapered so I think I know what's go gonna go on here and why I could 
I've had a hard time picking this, not because it's necessarily difficult, but I was looking for feedback and surprise surprise the difficulty came with these I think these little these little double tapered kind of pins now I don't know if these are Lockwood standard pins or something but or whatever but those tapers are very easy to overset so if you're not used to not oversetting like me then I suppose the better option to go with is of course the rakes and the city rake and all that and as we saw the city rake was enough to defeat this fairly easily the right pick for the right job that's what the case is my all the pins are copper pins so there we go let's uh, end that there thank you Shua L for making this little challenge lock as far as I know anyway and uh, yeah if you don't want it to be rocked open easily then I suppose you need to put more security pins in there but however for SPPing those aren't too shabby because they are a lot of the time we expect more feedback from a challenge lock and this one wouldn't tell me anything it just kept its mouth quiet and I couldn't understand why I couldn't get anything but from that point of view it, from the point of view of lack of feedback it's a good challenge lock because we rely heavily on feedback a lot of the time so that's all we've got now. Let's just put these guys back here. Show that I put it back properly. And that I'm not, not full of nonsense. Maybe fire a six pinner or more would be another nice thing as well. Okay, well I don't really think I need that. But just to be sh safe case there's some silly lip on the core that might try and screw me over then lock him up then get our little clip here put him on here grab the opposite Trinesiums. I, I like these little for lock sport I think these are perfectly fine especially since you can modify them if you want to make them thinner and you get four for a fairly cheap price I think like 12 bucks or something and they do the job perfectly fine so let's just show the keys working and then we'll end that there yeah. There we go, perfectly fine. Great. So there you go, there's a Shua L. Uh, old mate picked open with the old city rake. Okay, bye.